Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a really quick review of the AZ model plastic kits De Havilland DH82 Tiger Moth. Uh, this is a small kit, this is the limited edition version, and it is 1 to 72 scale. On the, on the front, you have a nice photo of the silver and orange scheme for the De Havilland Moth. On the other side, you have a more snow kind of camo. Then you have a more British kind of green and brown DPM kind of camo. And then you have a silver and yellow camouflage, which you can see it Duxford to my belief. Or it might be the uh, yellow and silver rather than silver and yellow. Anyway, if we open up the box, you have a nice kit inside. It contains very limiting in parts, but that is all it needs. A successful looking model. So, if we open up the box inside, we have let's start off with the instructions first. Right, let's put them to one side. If we open up the instruction manual, we will have the instructions describing that uh, you have clear fix here, these kind of things using the photo etched parts to produce the seat belt sections, putting them in all your standard instructions in this area. And if we get to the back, or is it on the front? I'm looking for, it has a very strange canopy from looks online. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, how you produce the canopy has a very weird, we, well I can't even find it now weird way yeah there you go you kind of have to bend it into shape yourself rather than have a vac formed or injection molded version so uh there is the uh instructions as you can see these are all the parts it uses this recommends the paints these, these are humble recommendations so if you build air fixes be a uh, all right option it looks better than the uh air fixes option but i suppose they retooled it not so long ago yeah, the metal parts and the um, transparent foil for the canopies or of, or of canopy of as far as you can go. So uh, first we have the only and main sprue. You have the main, the two fuse large half. Sorry about that. You have the main cockpit sections, the front of it, and then the two wings. Of the biplane but they they're not in two separate halves they are in two main sections which is quite interesting for a plane uh, for an interesting for a model kit of this kind here you have the tail and the ailerons the yeah so it looks to be a fair amount of flash but not too much that it uh, becomes a pain but other than that yeah it looks quite nice Looking at the decals, the decals are quite thick looking on first glance. You have a nice set of decals, quite large for the size of the, sta the standard size of the kit, which is quite nice. So, uh, give you a nice uh, close look. So, this kit looks quite nice on decal wise. The final bit we have are the metal parts and the transparent foil. So, uh, get these out. So there's a protective card I take it, so if we remove the transparent foil, I don't know how well it's going to come up. Let me remove them because they seem to be focusing on. See if I can get it to focus on. Anyway, you can see the main canopy sections, which I suppose is quite helpful because then we d you don't have to paint around the sides of the canopy, which can often be the most difficult part of a model kit. Can you focus? No, that's the best I'll have to do. And other than that, you have the metal parts, which are the two seat belts and a couple of other parts. So the connectors, the buckles, that kind of thing. So uh, these will be my first opportunity to try photo etch parts, which is quite exciting because I've been looking forward to doing that. So there are photo etch parts. Right. So let's move these all to one side. So, a quick review of this kit. 
This seems to be an exceedingly nice kit for about six, seven pounds for what I got it at. It's a deal you can't go wrong for that price. Quite a nice kit, quite small, but a good one, and I totally recommend this to other people. So let's see how it builds up, and then I might. I might even. Yeah, it's a great kit. Sorry for the <laughs> a bit of a stutter there. Thank you very much, and bye bye.